Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Welcome back after what, three and a half hours? Alhamdulillah. What we thought was going to be a two hour show, to be honest. Um, but it's been a very wonderful show. Alhamdulillah. Can't really complain. You know, the, the beautiful kids coming and beautifully reciting the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And like one of them mentioned as well, that surely in the remembrance of Allah does the heart find peace. And subhanAllah, you know, when you're enjoying yourself, the time does seem to fly by as well. Alhamdulillah. Now, our beloved judges, obviously, you know, just subhanAllah. I'm sure you're in, as, you know, you're not just surprised, but you're in as much awe as I was when I was listening to them. But if I can start with Sheikh uh, Fakhul Islam, inshallah, just your feedback on, on how you found uh, today's semi final. MashaAllah, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salatu Salam, Ali Rasulillah, Amma Ba'd. Alhamdulillah, it was amazing. It was unexpected, yes. SubhanAllah, some of you presented your bayan, your talk in such a way, sometimes we're adult, we get frightened and we can't present our view or present our talk properly that way you did subhanallah eight nine years old and beautiful jazakumullah khairan and we always pray that, that allah make you mashayikh great shuyukh of islam amin. say amin ya rabbal alamin and i will tell you a small advice to you all as you know this is a sake of competition obviously just on its own when you're reciting all of you are wonderful reciters we have nothing to point at in your recitation. But as a sake of uh, competition, obviously some people will go to the next stage. Some people won't go to the next stage. So those people will go to the next stage. The humble request will be to you all that make sure remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving you the honor. So first thing you will praise Allah. Right? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to pray salatu shukr. Thanking Allah, praying and thanking Allah and taking it as Allah has given them a gift, right? So you don't have the pride in you. Yeah, you don't show off. You don't start thinking it's my talent. You're always thanking Allah and saying it's Allah has given me. And those of you not going through, again, do not be disheartened. Do not be upset. Remember, Allah is giving you another chance to learn properly, right? So either way, you thank Allah. So those of you not going through, going home, praying to Allah, praying to Rakat and saying, Allah, thank you for not letting me go because you understood that I'm not capable yet to go to the next stage. And you have given me one more chance. And I promise you, I will practice more. And next year, I will try again to go to the next stage. This is, will be your response. So either way, positive response, inshallah. Say inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan. And lastly, I will say thank you very much to the parents, teachers, and all those supports here. Keep supporting your children. And through your supports, you will see, inshallah, one day your children will be a great qari and great hafiz. Jazakumullah khairan. MashaAllah. Mufti. Alhamdulillah, uh, some comments, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa wa ala. Actually, I've been, um, I'm involved with the key factor from the first season. And what I can see is a great success of key factor that we can see our young talent, they are coming here and delivering a speech like most of our adults, they can't. And it's a great success for key factor and I'm really proud of it and yeah. our young boys and girls. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues these uh, platforms so that we can bring some more talent, inshallah. Amen. And those who participated today, it was really amazing in one word. I actually couldn't believe my ears that that beautiful recitation can come from that little child, eight or nine years old, Allah. mashallah. And not only recitation, uh, the speech, mashallah, they delivered, it was wonderful. And I was, I was uh, praying m maybe, uh, inshallah, one day, the lacking that we have in our society that is female scholarship inshallah allah, allah will fulfill you know, out of them inshallah out of them yeah, young girls inshallah. inshallah so i pray that inshallah you uh, girls and boys those you tried really hard today you as ustad fakhrul said if you're not going to the next step is not because you did something wrong is because it is for the sake of you know attending you attended and you tried really hard, Alhamdulillah, Allah accepted it. There's no doubt in it. Yeah, and if you keep trying, inshallah, you'll excel more. And this is the thing that actually we want from all of you. And my last word, uh, Q Factor is a project of global trust. And the dream behind of this uh, project was 
to bring out a pool of talent. And this talent, inshallah, will serve the next generation to prepare them in the same way as you are now. So however you prepare yourself, you always remember there are some people that are guiding you. Inshallah, when you are growing up, you will be guiding other people in the same way. Inshallah. That way, inshallah, our, this project and our, this um, Q Factor will continue and will uh, continue bringing and, and, uh, and extracting some of the good people. The, the, uh, inshallah, inshallah, in their future life, they will be leading our ummah in the right path, inshallah. Jazakumullah khayran for being in this nice show. And Mufti Nasrullah, obviously, we were mentioning as well in previous rounds as well that Q Factor isn't just a competition. It's more like a movement yes. to bring about the love of the Quran into every household. Like it we're is. seeing that yeah, year in, year out, the competition is getting larger. There's more and people the calling in. This is what we exactly can see yeah. this that is happening. Alhamdulillah. One from one family, mashallah, eight or nine children, mashallah, they came out, and we couldn't even <laughs> thought of this if there was no, no. platform, you know, like that. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Sheikh Abu Tayyib. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala. Brothers and sisters, viewers, uh, alhamdulillah. Um, we are listening Quran al Karim. Subhanallah, surprised me. The recitation is very good, alhamdulillah. Excellent. I'll make that for them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them qari qurra. Inshallah, in the near future. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I um, uh, um, agree with uh, them, Nasrullah Bai and uh, Sheikh Fakhrul, inshallah, whatever they said. But I want to uh, advise, I want to add something else, which is, Alhamdulillah, all of you are excellent. I can say all of you are excellent. Um, but some of you are excellent in tartil, and some of you uh, in, in space, and some of you Mujawad, but if all of you uh, become a very good, not excellent in every single sector, then you become like you know excellent. Which is I can mention uh, like so for example, um, in Tartil, if you are gonna get ninety out of hundred, and in Mujawad forty out of hundred, and uh, in uh, a space like you know, 70 out of 100, altogether how much? 90? More than 100. <laughs> uh? No, 90, 40, and 70, nearly 200. And if you, are, if you are good in every single, not excellent in one subject, another subject is not good, like you know, 80, say for example, 80 average, in 30 or 70. 70 in Tartil, 70 in uh, Space, 70 in Mujawad. How much become? 210. More than 200, 200, isn't it? So all of you should try to be good in every single subject. Then, inshallah, you're, you're, you're going to be, inshallah, excellent, inshallah, in the future, inshallah. I'll make that for all of you, inshallah, and you'll make that for us. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us our all good deeds, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan. And Sheikh, just um, obviously for, for those who will go through to the final, is there any uh, parts where maybe they can improve, generically? Um, is there any parts where you thought maybe certain parts, you know, that for the final, yes, they need to improve on this? Or is there anything, Sheikh, if you'd like to mention? No, no. Obviously, we didn't give a specific feedback to yeah. specific students. If we did, then it would have benefited them. And uh, I will say, obviously, Sheikh Abu Tayyib, what he said, uh, some of the students, they are good at Mujawad, some of them Murattal, some of them speech. So obviously, they need to figure out which one they are good at. And uh, whichever one they're not good at, they need to practice that. And exactly. we will say, uh, a few, few, few people we found that they got like uh, major errors, problem in between ta, dal, and etc. So I will say, in general, you focus at makharij. Yeah. Makharij, that major error should not happen at all, right? Yes, and uh, mujawad, focus at mujawad, try to get some style in your recital. Some of you read very loud, very slow, and got some styles but it need to be smooth as well, right? Mujawad, just not screaming, right? It's smooth as well. You read loud, but it's a smooth, nice tone, right? So try to bring those qualities, inshallah. And specifically, if you look at your teacher and read it to your <coughs> teacher, your teacher will be able to give you exact feedback where you need specific help and a specific improvement, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. 
Well, um, I've got the paper in front of you now, inshallah. inshallah. I guess. <laughs> you know, to be honest, if it was me, I would have taken all 13 of you through. Exactly. That's how tough the competition was it is, today. It is. And that's how uh, much I think. Brother Asif, before uh, you, uh, yeah. you uh, going to that part, I just want to add a little bit with uh, Ustaz Fakhrul. Those you're going to the final, or even you're not going to the final, there is something very little to uh, to make improvement in your recitation, inshallah. Some of the mudud, as I uh, mentioned in the beginning, some of the mudud, say for example, you said, Alladheena um, atainahumul kitab. Alladheena, here is only one alif mad. If you s recite like, Alladheena atainahumul kitab. So you made that mad little, little longer, which yeah. actually uh, uh, is, 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 it shouldn't happen. It changes you know, uh, yeah. And also, when you make the gunna, Gunna, you should keep in the same length, like وَعَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ So first gunna was a little bit longer than the second one. If you keep this all same, then your recitation will be more perfect, <laughs> inshallah. Inshallah. Sadaqallah khair. Mufti Nathurullah for that. Um, like I said, um, I'm sure the judges will also agree that if they had a choice, um, they would probably take it all of them, all of them. To the that's how strong and how enjoyable yeah, the exactly. competition was today okay. um, but there will be alhamdulillah eight of you inshallah going through to the final um, and i'll start inshallah with um, the first semi-finalist who have gone through to the semi-final is uh 12 year old sorry to the, the final yes to the <laughs> not another semi-final no <laughs> to, to the final inshallah yeah. is 12 year old dawood islam so congratulations to dawood <coughs> if you can just stand up, inshallah, I think the, the cameras perhaps want to just uh, catch you there. Good. There we go. Can we see Dawood Islam? There we go. That's Dawood there. Mashallah. The second contestant, inshallah, who will make it through to the final is uh, 10 year old Tahmeed Rahman. Mashallah. Tahmeed, if you'd like to just stand up. So this is this picture is going to go in your bio data. Inshallah. And the next contestant, inshallah, making it through to the final is 10 year old <laughs> Ruksana Kamali. Inshallah. <laughs> well done. And um, also I'm announcing them. That it's not in any particular order. Yeah, I'm just shouting out the names, inshallah. Um, the next contestant, inshallah, to have made it through to the final is 11 year old Nadia Fatima Ali. Mashallah. Nadia, if you want to stand up, inshallah. <laughs> mashallah. That's she that's couldn't Nadia believe. She, she already threw, mashallah. mashallah. But, but I, was, I, I like the way where she stopped, but then she composed herself yeah. and then she started again. Because t if it was me, I would have just stopped, gone red, and, that's and it. probably start crying stopped on the stage. Forever. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, well done Nadia. Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah. Our next contestant, inshallah, is a 10 year old, Suraya Akhtar. Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah. So if you can get us it. Mm, Smile for the camera. She's already <laughs> standing. <laughs> mashallah. Okay. Our next contestant, inshallah, to the final, is 10 year old, Khadija Fatima Ali. Khadija, if you can stand up, inshallah. Both of the sisters. Inshallah, both sisters, yes. Inshallah. <coughs> okay, our next contestant, inshallah, to have made it through to the final is eight year old Zainab Begum. Mashallah. Can, can we even see her? Mashallah. <laughs> Someone needs to pick her up, perhaps. Oh, there we go. We've caught her as well, alhamdulillah. And the eighth contestant, inshallah, who has made it through to the final. Can we can we have a takbir together? Inshallah. inshallah. So the final contestant, inshallah, through to the final. <coughs> is 12 year old Hamidul Islam. So congratulations again. Mashallah. Mashallah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Mashallah. Mashallah. So I'll just uh, announce the the semi-finalists to have gone through to the semi-finals uh, again. Uh, we have Daud, 12-year-old Daud Islam, 10-year-old Tahmeed Rahman, 10-year-old Ruksana Kamali, 11-year-old Nadia Fatima Ali, 10-year-old Suraya Akhtar, 10-year-old Khadija Fatima Ali, 8-year-old Zainab Begum, 
and 12 year old Hamidul Islam. Congratulations to all of you. Um, I'm sure um, just by seeing um, the reaction on the judges as well, I'm sure it's been very, very tough marking between, um, between everyone. Um, but congratulations to you all. And obviously, you know, make sure you practice well for the final. Uh, again, I'll just announce for the benefit of those who are here and also those who are watching as well. Uh, the semi-final for the, the older age group, which is the 13 to 19, inshallah, will be tomorrow. Uh, again, same time. I'm hoping we'll, it won't last four hours, but it will be from five o'clock, inshallah, tomorrow. And the grand finale, inshallah, for the younger age group um, will be next Saturday, 16th of April, inshallah, live from uh, the Channel S studios. And the grand finale for the older age group, inshallah, will be on Sunday, the 17th of April. Uh, but the main, inshallah, well, another main date, inshallah, to keep in mind is Saturday, the 30th of April, where we'll have the actual grand award ceremony. Uh, we, and we invite everyone, inshallah, to attend. Uh, one of the chief guests, inshallah, is the Imam of Masjid Qiblatain, Sheikh uh, Biladi, uh, from Masjid Qiblatain, who um, has agreed, obviously, to be a uh, chief guest on the day, inshallah. Um, but do come, inshallah, obviously, uh, do come support, obviously, not just the, the, the finalists. Because one thing I'd like to just mention as well is that in the final, um, the announcement won't be given as well. So you'll have to wait for the grand ceremony, inshallah, to know who's come in what position as well, inshallah. So do join us on the 30th of April, inshallah. For further information, you can go, for t you can go to, inshallah, qfactor.org.uk, inshallah. But once again, jazakallah um, khair to all of the kids for coming today and just inspiring all of us. Uh, subhanallah, it has been a very, very uh, inspirational day. Uh, and for like, like the, the shuikh said, for those of you who have gone through, again, congratulations. For those of you who don't go through, go back and keep trying. Because one thing for sure, if you do this for the sake of Allah, then Allah has accepted you. And that's our main aim. You know, we want Allah to accept us because at the end of the day, we want to be able to recite the Quran like Allah wants us to recite the Quran. That's our main aim. Competition is secondary. Um, so those of you who haven't gone through, inshallah, keep trying, go back and practice hard. For those of you who have uh, a, a teacher, a, a, you know, a teacher that you have a one-to-one -one, uh, with, inshallah, carry on with that, inshallah, and, you know, keep trying and join us again, of course, next year. We'll be very, very honored to have you again. Um, but Alhamdulillah, until uh, tomorrow for the second semi-final, inshallah, for the older age group, do look after yourself from me and from everyone in the studio, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يا أمتي القرآن حبل نجاتنا فتمسكي بعواه كي لا